and we'll go through equations. in three space and uh, that's that's going to be our first attempt to describe a plane I don't believe we will ever go into parametric presentation of a plane although it's possible uh, but I think this presentation will be enough for us so uh, how to represent a plane by an equation well of course you will need a coordinate system right so we assume that in three space we already have a coordinate system x, y, and z. So what kind of equation should describe a plane? Well, the problem is that so far you have one example of sphere of equation of a sphere, and I gave you a few examples of equations of very special planes, like horizontal plane, with equation z equals 1, we discussed last time. So, uh, if when you read the file, it explains why a linear equation, and why am I talking about linear? I'm following exactly the same process. Instead of studying all possible equations, I will specify to the set of linear equations, and algebraically we know what linear means. It means each coordinate is contributing in, de in degree one, so the general equation is a constant times x plus a constant b times y plus a constant c times z equals some constant d. So that's a general first degree equation in three-dimensional space. And the file explains why that equation describes a plane. And the outcome of that simple discussion in the file is that the vector made by those a, B, and C, now it is a three-dimensional vector, is always perpendicular to that plane. And that's the point where we come to the similarity between description of a line in a plane, AX plus BY equals C, the vector AB was perpendicular to that line. Now a plane is going to be perpendicular to this vector ABC. So it is always perpendicular to the plane. And what, what can we do about it? Well, once we know that well, that basically refers to another description of a plane. If you fix a line, fix a point on that line, and think about plane perpendicular to that line through this point, is that something that you would think as a plane? Everything that perpendicular that is perpendicular to this interval passing through this point. So that's another description of a plane, of that concept. It's not determined by three points, it's determined by a direction that the plane is perpendicular to, and one point. Once you fix a point, fix a direction, there is a unique plane perpendicular to that direction through this point. And algebraically, uh, that's a vector describing that direction. <coughs> 